Hello, hello, hello everybody, and welcome to Card Hunter. Now, this is not going to be a series, this is just going to be like a first look. Create a new account. Okay. Alright. Now, this is Card Hunter. This is a free to play game on Steam. And I've played it for a couple hours before. Woohoo! Adventurers! Hold on just one second. Okay, now there, that's better. Right click or press the space bar to see what they can do. Okay. On cards. Oh, okay. Right click. Add three to block rolls against this attack. He can heal, inspire, run. And in this game, you get some different kind of... It's like a collectible card game at the same time as being a turn-based strategy game. So if you've ever played anything like Final Fantasy Tactics, then you'll love this game. You know, and it's a small game, it's simple, simple to play, and but complicated to master, so to speak. And the different kinds of cards you get, you can get attack cards, you can get healing cards, or support cards, if you will, and you get movement cards. So let's just say, run, let him run there, and then they'll move... And then let's say for him to walk forward, let's move him here. And they're firing a thing at him, but I have a block, which is pretty cool. I blocked it. Click anywhere to continue. If you run out of cards to play, you can pass. After a pass, you can end round to draw new cards. Okay, we're going to dash with her. To here and they're gonna attack hit her pretty hard and we can do one of these so we're gonna do fireball at here okay okay let's do on him. Killed him. We got the... And this is how it tells who's winning by these stars up here. Okay, he was attacked. Let's do this at this one. Okay. Armor. I reduced the damage. Let's heal up our wizard. and they're walking forward and I can't do anything with this guy because he's out of range of where we can do anything so let's try to take this one down some more other ones are gonna move in I don't I don't have anything to do so I can pass I have to pass and the round was ended And I have to delete something, so I'm going to get rid of the chop. 
You only have two cards in your hand. Okay, and this is not... I can walk, so I'm going to try to walk him up to here. Zap. He takes reduced damage. Okay, bash. Let's do... Let's go on this one. Okay, we deleted that one. Alright, he's going to walk in. Force bolt this one. Simple strike parry. Good. We're going to move her out of the line of fire for right now. Alright, we're going to use bludgeon for him. Okay, that's good. Strong hack, I can't do anything. I can teleport this. I can teleport him one closer and then use that. And we won. It was a really close victory, but we did win. And this is this is how you get stuff for your characters at the end of a turn. You open these chests. And we got a legendary sword right out of the bat. So we're going to empty weapon slot. Okay, so we have to equip it. And this is how you get cards when you hover over items that you collect. It shows the different attacks and defense and special effects and stuff like that. We got ambushed. Uh -oh. Dragon. Okay, we got inspiration. So we're going to use that on him. He moves by flying. Okay, dash, I want to get up closer. So I can use her spells which didn't really do a heck of a lot okay that hurt him all right we can't do much with him other than this Okay, he can attack. Acid jet. Not good. Alright, cleansing burst. To here. To there, okay. And that cleans the ground she was standing on, which doesn't do much. Uh, teleport other. I can't get her off of there right now. But I'm going to use the attack skill. Okay. He's getting pretty beat up. He passed, so he's pretty much out of cards that he can use. I will do a greater heal on him. Heal him back up some. Gary passed. I want to keep my charge card, so walk. I'm just going to waste that so I can end the round. She's going to take damage because she's standing in crap. And he didn't block, but that's okay. Okay, I've got to move her out of that green goo crap. Okay, he blocked. Reduce damage, which is good. Chop. I can't. Yes, I can. I can attack with chop. And he blocked. Reduced damage some. 
Okay, I still can't do much to her. What does this do? Discards all armor cards. Okay. Let's cast that spell on her. And he can't do anything. He's got to move closer. He passed. He has no... No more... Attack cards. And it's another victory. Onward. Yeah, this guy here is kind of a... Kind of a jerk. You have to start at level one. Alright. Onward. We have to start again with some new characters. So that was just pretty much like a intro. So we have to pick our warrior. So let's see what we've got here. Pretty much all the same. So I'm going to go with a dwarf warrior. Backdrawn. That's good enough. Pledges to help. Blah, blah, blah. Exit to return to the map. And we'll go here. Alright, this tells you about what it is. Regular adventure. Complete this for experience and bonus loot. Begin and, you know, begin whatever. Peaceful existence is torn asunder by the den of battle. Cobalt raiding party. Drawing your sword. You rush to repel the invaders. Blah, blah, blah. You can read through all this in it. There is some humor and some comedy in this game. Which is pretty cool. So I'm going to start it off by walking a couple steps forward. Yeah, it tells you about the monsters can move and etc, etc. I'm going to pass the turn to make them come closer to me. I'm going to bludgeon this guy. And he strikes back. And I'm going to attack this guy because he's already weak. And it reduces, so I'm going to pass. He has to pass and end the round. Up here is where what you fight and the cards they have. Each At the start of each round, you always draw one bonus move card. Because you choose a dwarf, you just get a slow walk card as your default move. Then draw two more cards from your deck. Okay. We'll do a weak strike. And since there's only one enemy left... They automatically attack when there's only one enemy left. And it shows you up here what cards they got. Some cards are face up, some are face down. And there we go, that's pretty easy. Collect loot, let's see what we get. Of course we got some experience. Open the chest and see what we got. We got... Unusable, unusable treasure item and another unusable treasure item. Click on the take. I'll finish. Yeah, finish. You can sell loot for stuff in this game. And that sells for 40 gold. So awesome. Now we have some money. So let's see what we can get for items. We can buy this battle axe which gives us these cards. So that gives us more of a chance to draw an attack card. And it equips all of those and they add down into here. This is the armor we have. We start with that one and we get walk cards, but we get a lot of attack cards. So, alright. Let's exit here. Get back on the trail of the kobolds. Finds tracks leading to the wilderness. Okay, let's go do this. Begin adventure. It tells you about the kobold encampment. I'm not going to read all that stuff just for time saving. Now we're outnumbered three to one, but they're just kobolds. 
Enemies have to halt when they move next to you, so move to the yellow square to stop them from blah blah blah. Okay. Alright, let's do bludgeon on this guy. He blocked it. Let's keep going after this guy. And let's damage this guy a little bit. End around because nobody has any cards. Okay, I'm going to try to chop. And that was awesome. Weak strike. And we're going to pass. Starting a new round. And let's chop. Alright, we got him. It's awesome. Then we go to the aftermath, collect loot. And we'll get our experience, we'll level up. Sometimes when you level up, you get new slots. Okay. We don't have anything for that. We'll open the chest. Awesome. And we can... We can't sell anything there. But we did get this. This is a rare weapon. So we'll take this one. Take that one off. And we'll put this one in. That gives us some new attacks. Some better attacks. Especially, especially this one right here. Even though it says discard your oldest card when you play this, it still hits for 10. So we'll take that and finish. Head to the armory, get yourself a shield. New heroes at the tavern. And let's see if there's anything for weapons. No. Anything for boots? No. Anything for shields? When we buy this and equip it, we'll get these block cards, armor cards. So we'll take that. It's awesome. And... Hmm. I thought I had some scrap stuff that I could s sell. Alright, now we're going to get a wizard. So, do we want a human wizard, an elf wizard, or a dwarf wizard? We got a dwarf warrior, so... I think we'll take... I think we'll take a human wizard this time. Lesmith. Okay, we have to pursue the kobolds. And we'll go through one more. Just to show you. It's cool building your party this way, don't you think? Begin adventure. We get ambushed by a kobold. And you can, there are campaigns where you get more than one attack per thing. Okay. So we'll do we'll do this one. And it blocked us. Just walking towards there. Okay. Keep attacking from behind. So we'll walk our wizard up here, and we'll start attacking this guy from behind. And he'll turn to face us for the moment. I guess he, I thought he was going to turn around. But let's do that again. He passed. He's out of attack cards, probably. And let's do chop again. Some more experience. Onward. Collect loot. And collect our experience. Okay, zapping headband. We'll put that on there. We get those cards that he's already got. This card. 
Yeah, it's a little better, so we'll take that. Well, I'll leave this back on. I thought that was a staff, but it's an arcane item. And we get another sword, so let's see if we can upgrade anything on here. Yeah, that's better than this, so we'll do that. And we store all of our items down here. So let's finish there. It's always good to go back to the armory to check stuff, because here is where we can sell our treasure, which is what I tried to do last time. We can't, we can't sell this stuff yet. Eventually we'll be able to. You have to level up quite a bit to unlock that. So weapons, let's see. We don't really have anything all that awesome. This is pretty good. Spears are pretty good. See if there's any better shields. Missile block is pretty good. Parry, simple bash. Lucky charm, block any, free card. Block any with any with damage four or less. That's pretty good. This is pretty good. So I'll take that. That gives us 49 gold left. Okay, let's see if there's any more boots that we can get that are better. That gives us an attack. I'm not really... Reliable hide, simple and strong. That just gives us that. Let's see, rusty armor. Armor 3. Let's take these for him. Then we'll go here and see if there's any staves that are better. This one gives us 2 attack, 4 attack, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. Which is something similar to this one. I don't want this one because of these fumble cards. Three, three, four, one, 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 one. That's the one we have, I believe. I believe. <clears throat> Sonic blast. Sorceress blast. That's pretty good. That can deal six. Four, three, 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 four. Which one was it? This one. Okay. Yeah, it's that one. I think we'll take that. Gives us 24. These here for a wizard. Hmm. These are all cards I haven't seen before. They must be new. Memory loss, target discards their oldest card. That could be pretty good. I'm going to pass that for the time being and see if we can get anything good for our wizard. Now, you know what? I'm going to try it out. And you get to keep any card you unequip. Unless you get to the point where you can sell them later. But that is much later in the game. We'll go through one more here just to show you the wizard. And regular adventure, begin adventure. This tells you about the White Skull Gates. Begin battle. It doesn't appear to be too horrible. So 
So I'm going to pass to try to make them come forward, and they're not biting. So I'm going to move him up. Hmm. I'm going to move him up. He should be in... Yeah, that's... Uh, like dots, you know, like damage or healing over time. It's telling us about that. He blocked. He's moving up. I'll try this for him. He's going to run up. We're going to try this for him to try to take that one out, which is good. Simple bash. I can't do much. I have to move forward. And he doesn't have very many cards left either. So that was good. All right. We have to pass. No cards to play. You can't really play these. These kind of auto play. So, all right. Lucky Charm. That's one of our new ones. Block any. That's awesome, actually. Let's walk up here. blocked any that was kind of cool let's try taking him out so we have advantage and I've got to go up here because all he has left is um, melee damage cards can't do nothing end of the round I have to delete something so I'm gonna delete the simple strike so I want to keep the armor Sorceress Blast, 6. If he hits, it's game over. I'm glad I got those. Okay, onward. Aftermath, collect loot. Open chest. Yep, more common treasure. Get some common boots. Nothing exciting. Continue. And here's a second battle to this. This is what I was talking about. Sometimes there's more than one battle. Okay. Stop moving when you enter difficult terrain. You can't pass places where there is terrain. Okay. Let's see if we can take him out right off the bat. That was awesome. We just immediately got the advantage from this. So, we're going to walk forward with this guy. He passed. Let's run with him forward. He passed again. Let's dash him to here. We get hit. Not a big deal. Bludgeon. He blocked. Not a big deal. Starting round. All right, we blocked, which is cool. Stab can reach farther. So first, I'm just going to do that. hes They're going to move in. I'm going to move him down here to have a little bit more freedom. We still can't do nothing with him. We're going to try to get rid of that guy, which worked, which is awesome. We're going to protect our mage by going here. Our mage has some decent damage cards. So I'm going to try... I'm going to get rid of this one. No. I'm going to get rid of this one. And I'm going to have to get rid of the hide armor. Didn't want to, but the battle's going in our favor. Which is decent. He has nothing other than a movement card. But he's got some armor, which is cool. So let's try to... Let's try to take out this guy coming up behind us here. That blocked his damage, which is good. Let's try finishing him off. He didn't block, so that was good. All right, now let's run up behind our melee fighter and use this. Which does not too bad. Not bad at all. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to walk him up to here to try to give room for my mage to move up. He didn't block, unfortunately, but that's not bad. Let's try their memory loss. They've got rid of one of their cards, which is awesome. We're going to run him up to here. This game is all about card advantage. And that was pretty quick. Pretty easy. Collect our loot. Level up our mage. And he gets another slot for another arcane item. Open the chest. Okay, we can't we can't equip this item. Not usable by this class. But our next character that we get is gonna be a healer. And this is actually not a bad card. It has healing pulse, some other stuff, some more random junk to sell, shield, a pair of random boots. Nothing spectacular. And here's the priest. Human priest. Okay, we have a dwarf, a human. Let's get an elf priest. And... Wellig. That's good enough. Wellig will fight by your side. Your party is now full. Awesome. And these are his attacks. He's got some heals, things like that. We'll exit. Let's go to the armory. And there, okay. All items first. Let's sell our junk. We can't sell any of this other stuff yet. So we got, let's go with this. Okay, we've got this, telekinesis. Let's get some more attack strength to our wizard. Divine weapon, we have none. Healing charm boots. These boots give us this. Maybe we have a better pair. These ones have some armor on them, so we'll just put those on there. Okay. Healing charms. We have 50 points. So, let's see what we can get that will help us. Nothing much yet. Healing pulse. Healing Pulse. We have this one. And... Death Touch, Creature of the Night. Duration 3. Creature of the Night. I don't want that card because that's a debuff. The black ones are usually always debuffs. Well, we don't really have a lot that we can do. So let's just put this one on him for right now. There. See what we can get him for a weapon. 50. Penetrating stab. <clears throat> or predictable stab. For 5, 3. Curse of fragility. These have healing. So that's a good possibility right there. Entangling Roots also has healing. So. Arresting Torch. Increases damage by four if the affected character has a form card attached. Let's get this one. 
looks like the best for the beginning stuff. And exit. The Daily Deal. Some other adventures open. The Halloween Store. I'm going to check this out real quick because it wasn't there before. And everything in it is super expensive. Cobalt candy. Treasure item. Ghost pop. Hell cauldron. Looks like it has some cool stuff, but it's really expensive stuff. Sugar Rage, huh? Twin Heels. Wicked Broom. That looks kind of epic. I like that. That's kind of cool. But anyhow, guys, this is a look at Card Hunter. So if you want to check it out, it is on Steam. It is a free-to-play game. And I'm playing it on a really old computer without any problems whatsoever. No lag or anything like that. So, but this is Wizard, and I hope you enjoyed checking out Card Hunter with me. And I will see you guys in another video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.